Welcome to NAMM 2020 here. Music Ear Network is bringing you some great backstage stuff. Mal John, product manager, Epiphone, and Kramer here with Gibson, and it's been an incredible NAMM. You may have seen some guitars that Kramer is kind of putting on Instagram and different things like that. These are part of our Kramer uh, graphic art guitars. These are concept guitars that have very special finishes that were painted by some great artists. Part of Kramer's history and legacy is doing these really cool finishes, also assembled in the United States. And these are concept guitars. And based on dealer feedback, we are going to build some of these in more affordable uh, models down the road. All right, so we're actually here to preview our three artist models, which was Dave uh, Snake Sabo's uh, Serpent Guitar Snake, also Tracy Gunn's Voyager, as well as the Vanguard from Charlie Parra. Those will be released this summer. And these guitars, like I said, are one-offs, and uh, our dealers were able to purchase these concept guitars. So Bo Pittman, who has been a Kramer artist for our guitar art series, has come back to do the Dragon Warrior based on you know, some Kramer legacy, as well as the theme of a fantasy. And it's put on an 84. Tom Morgan, who is running our Area 51 uh, paint area at Gibson USA, did these in lacquer. And this is a blue nebula. It's what I call blue nebula. And you can see it in the light. It actually looks kind of like a star field. And it actually is done in Gibson lacquer, so this will age over time. Pretty cool. It's all the way around. Chris Stemmer from Nashville. Uh, I'm very inspired by a lot of 80s retro toys, the toys that made us and things like that. So I wanted to get this hot rod. I also love car finishes, so we're big fans of that. So this Silver Sparkle Flame on this Beretta, super cool. And it actually is glitter in the back too, so it's totally glittery. The light is not the best here in this business center, um, but I think you can kind of get the idea. Sure. Tom Morgan at Area 51 here at Gibson once again. We have a red nebula. You might know Tom Morgan because he did those flood guitars for Gibson after the flood in Nashville. You can see that kind of uniqueness to the way he does his finishes, really neat. Also done in nitrocellulose slacker. Chris Stemmer's back, and I wanted to do this really cool pinstripe. He's a great pinstriper, and I said, hey, why don't we do a lowrider, <laughs> right? And my favorite color, one of my favorite colors is the combination of gold and purple. So we decided to run with it, and he came up with this great scheme, and I couldn't be more pleased. Uh, Chris is just an amazing artist, so this is the purple glitter pinstripe. I keep on going back to the wall with Chris Stemmer because he's in Nashville. And um, what is a Kramer without doing a leopard skin? So we did this rainbow leopard um, top on this Beretta. It could be yours, <laughs> right? Yeah, for a low, low price. Well, maybe not so low. Yeah. Okay. Bo Pittman once again. Um, Bo Pittman has a paint shop in Alabama, and he does a lot of custom... Uh, Harleys and does uh, a lot of cars, different paint like that. And he said, you know what I did on this this bike? I did a bike with this 3D kind of psychedelic look. And I said, hey, I think that would translate great on a guitar. So he executed it and he really did a great job setting it off with a little bit of purple burst around the edges to kind of give you that 3D effect. And with the white junk Duncan JB, Floyd Rose FRT, pretty cool. And Chris is once again represented here. I, I pr probably have to take this out so you can see it in the light better. But this is kind of a purple gold, <clears throat> purple gold green crackle. And it's a flip flop. So if you look at the guitar, I'm gonna flip this over, Eric, so you can see. This is kind of inspired by that uh, kind of Red Beach, kind of purple strat, hot rod. Kramer that he posed on Guitar World magazine. Tailpiece on. Yep, this one's different. Yeah, it's got a Babbitt's tailpiece, full contact bridge, a Fishman Fluence pickup, and a Quill split. So you've got two different tones you can get out of this guitar with one volume with a Quill split. It's just a pretty versatile Beretta. 
we got one more. And this isn't the right card for it, so don't mind that. But uh, Chris Stimmer also did this as well. Once again, based out of Nashville, great painter, wanted to do a snake skin. I said specifically, let's do snake skin. So he came up with this, and I call it the blue green snake skin. Pretty easy, right? And it's just the front, so. You can almost feel the scales on it. Okay? Almost, yeah. almost, that's the point. So, and once again, you know, we had dealers come to our custom shop uh, preview party. People kind of ran wild with it. This was located in, um, we'll walk over here. And this was located in the main room. And now since we've sold these guitars, they're back here uh, backstage in our business area. And once again, taking the poll and the pulse from social media and you, the Kramer fans, as well as our dealers, we're gonna, we're gonna be able to translate these into more affordable models that are not one-offs. Once again, these are all one-off concept guitars, and this is just a taste of what's to come, along with our artist models in 2020. So we appreciate you hanging out here backstage at the Gibson booth, Kramer and Epiphone here for the Music Gear Network. I'm Al John. We'll see you next time.